Hello and welcome to another tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to learn the basics of C-sharp. So if, even if you don't have any programming experience this is the tutorial for you and even if you do have a little bit of programming experience this will also be a helpful tutorial as well. So this tutorial series is geared towards making games so we're actually not going to make any games um, in this tutorial series we're just going to learn C-sharp but everything will be geared towards making games. They will give you the resources and the ability to later uh, make games in X and A. So the first step is open Google or something and uh, search Visual uh, Studio C++. I mean, sorry, uh, C Sharp. Should get rid of that and just say Express. Okay. Click the first link. Click 2010 Express Products. See download details. Click Visual C Sharp 2010 Express Edition. Choose whatever language you want it in and press install now. I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed. So just I'm just going to exit out and start. I'm going to make a new project. I'm going to create a console application and I'm going to name this uh, my first program. Okay, so when we create this project, we have it already generates some code for us. Um, right now, you don't have to worry about most of this stuff. Uh, what, okay, I'm first going to start with the things on top. Uh, these basically mean it's going to use all these tools and you're going to be able to use everything from these uh, libraries basically. Uh, but not very important for be starting off. Uh, the main thing is in between this middle uh, structure here. So as you may or may not have noticed there's like uh, curly braces and there's more curly braces inside of those and uh, there's a little header or name in front of each curly brace and this is basically tells what's uh, inside of these curly braces so we can say it, right here means it's in the namespace my first program this is saying we're gonna create a class and its name is going to be program and everything inside of here is going to be that class and this is the main function. In every C sharp application you're gonna have one main function and it has to look like this to run. Okay, so this is where the program starts. Then we start typing in commands and we tell it what we want it to do. So first I'm gonna say console dot write line uh let's see welcome to our first game. Okay, and we can go ahead and run this. And actually, uh, here, let's just do this. Console, as you can see, it just played and then exited. Uh, so we actually have to put in console.read, and now you'll see it says welcome to our first game, and it won't close. And then if we press any key and press enter, it will close. Okay. So what this is basically doing is telling our console, which is basically this little black screen right here, to print out our text right here, welcome to our first game. And this line is basically saying, okay, read the user input now. Uh, the reason we're doing this is so the program won't close because once the program reaches the end of this little function right here, and hits this curly brace, it's going to end. The whole program is going to end. And uh, we want the program not to end when we wanted to display our text. So that's why we put it there. Okay. Okay, so this is the end of the first tutorial. I'm going to keep these sort of short because I want you guys to learn one thing in each tutorial so you don't go away um, with a cliffhanger or anything like that. So 
Uh, in this tutorial, you successfully learned how to download the uh, Visual Studio 2010 Express, uh, and you successfully wrote some text to your console and ran your program. So uh, put a like rating, subscribe, and hopefully you'll stay around to watch the next tutorial. Thank you.